Okay, let's continue with my collection. I always thought the next jersey will be my last last jersey, at least for, at the moment. Sure, there will be others coming, uh, but yeah, for at the moment, the last one. But Super Bowl is happening day tonight to tomorrow. I'm not gonna watch it live, but um, it's right here, and I'm gonna watch it pre recorded because at this stage in my life, I cannot afford staying up all night, especially with little kids that have to be brought to school. I took the day off, I will watch it in the morning, I will not have any phones on, anything. I will fully enjoy that one, cannot wait uh, to do that. But yeah, that also gives me an opportunity to talk about my American football, mostly NFL jersey collection, but we'll start with the one college football jersey. And if you have never heard of college football, that's a world on its own. It's a very American thing and it is of course um, something that you will mostly only watch in America, although they have been showing on the zone some college football. Uh, it's an experience. It's probably even a better in-stadium experience than uh, is an NFL game. And the one jersey is of course the college that I went to, University of South Carolina. This is an Under Armour shirt, a replica of course. You can see, I mean, heavily ventilated. I love to wear this one in summer. Uh, even if it's hot, um, there's enough ventilation going on. The numbers of course are printed on, so you can see here it's actually coming off slightly, but that's the only, yeah, here on the back. Same thing, number 11 is no particular player. It's of course, it would be a wide receiver. But yeah, I remember seeing that one. I actually had a head or a graduate and I came back and I said, I need to get a finally football jersey colors of course garnet and black and I was wondering shall I get the red one or shall I get the black one the black one looked actually quite nice with just the colors in verse uh, so you have the so for black you would have the red and the black here even the white one where we had the black and uh, the red here looked really nice but this is how I want South Carolina to play so this is the one that I got um, I in summer this is a regular wear for me and you know, typically college football fashion, you have the numbers, but not all of colleges have, but there is, the name of the team is just Carolina. North Carolina does the same thing. They also write just Carolina because South Carolina would be a lot. And of course, these days they have the name on there, but I got, didn't get this one on, on the name. 11 is actually good because many wide receivers in the NFL um, that are successful actually make it from South Carolina, they have the reputation as wide receiver university or wide receiver U. Um, but that was my college football shirt. Let's go NFL, staying in Carolina. I, of course, when I lived in the Carolinas, so sooner or later I was about to get uh, to a Panthers game and I got a Panthers shirt. Always kind of like the Panthers, but you know, once you are in uh, the Carolinas, there's no going past the Carolina Panthers. And um, the first year they were there, they even made it to the Super Bowl where they lost by a hair, stupid missed field goal, uh, missed uh, kickoff. Um, they had the Patriots. And if they would have won it, I'm not sure if they'll be talking dynasty. But yeah, the Patriots always find a way to win. Or as they say, uh, most games are lost and not won. Let's make sure we don't lose the game. Meaning, minimize your errors. Minimize your errors. If you make less errors than the opposition, you will most likely win the game. And this is what the Patriots are doing. You gotta admire them for that. Uh, despite all the people that are on there, especially Tom Brady, that I just cannot stand. Although they had some good people there. I have actually less issue with Belichick than with Tom Brady. but. That would be another video that I want to talk, don't want to talk about. So, Panthers jersey, of course I want to get the black one. They, uh, I actually think that the white one looks even better. The white has, is white, then it has here, the blue strap is still there, but here instead of silver there's black, it actually looks pretty sharp. I think it has black numbers with a, a blue outline, but you know, this is the home jersey. It is uh, a little bit a premier replica that Reebok brought out and it's basically the same material almost as the on-field product. Not quite, but uh, very, very close. You see here the heavily ventilated um, body. You have the shoulders here, that's kind of the stretch material. And this here is printed on this stripe as is the Panthers logo, which I like a lot. Um, and then you have the side here. But um, 
what also is done is that the number is not printed on, this is actually stitched on. This is extra material that's stitched on. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. And this is the difference between the cheaper re replica and a little bit more premium replicas. And they charged two times as much. I got this right at Bank of America Stadium. Um, yeah, in a medium and it fits me quite well. A medium with long side. Uh, this is, I I would never say this is a medium to me. I was actually when I got it, I was a little bit afraid that it might be too tight on me. Uh, it still fits me uh, now. Of course, number seventeen is Jake Delhomme, the quarterback they had back then, who got them to the first Super Bowl. Had then another good season, I think, in two thousand eight. Uh, okay. See. Um, I usually go for quarterbacks, although I was really thinking about a wide receiver then, but then I said, yeah, I like the number 17 a lot. So made a lot of sense to me because I have also from the Carolina Hurricanes, number 17 right here. Uh, you saw that jersey in my NHL collection, which was, of course, Rod Brindamore. So I thought this is a nice connection between the two Carolina teams. And yeah, the blue. If you know anything about it, uh, about um, North Carolina, I mean, the Carolina Panthers play in Charlotte, North Carolina, which is right o right across the border. I mean, there's some suburbs reaching into South Carolina. They're actually thinking of building a stadium right on the um, state border, which never really materialized. And so now it's downtown, which is a really nice location. Uh, but North Carolina has two big universities that are blue. There's the University of North Carolina, which has a slightly lighter blue tone. And then, of course, Duke University, which is a um, kind of royal blue tone, similar to this PSG uh, jersey. And this is kind of the middle, uh, the two big rivals. They are more basketball than football rivals. But in basketball, this is one of the biggest rivalries. So, yeah. Carolina Panthers. But the Carolina Panthers, probably only, yeah, only my second most favorite team. My most favorite team is the team that I watched ooh, my first real, no, it was the first Super Bowl. Well, funnily enough, the first game that I ever watched was the Carolina Panthers against the Dallas Cowboys in 97. So that's the 96 season, 97 playoffs where the Carolina Panthers won. And I think this kind of already planned that I like the Panthers. And then they played in the champ uh, NFC Championship game against the Green Bay Packers, which is a game that was a late game. I didn't see that one. But I knew that the Packers were the favorites. I had already read about something at all. There was a weird TV series where they were all Packer fans. So I knew about the Green Bay Packers. And when they then played in the Super Bowl, that was the first Super Bowl that I watched. And I said, whoever wins, that will be my team. And it was the Green Bay Packers against the New England Patriots, and the Packers won by Lansley. It was a great first quarter that actually the Patriots won. Then the Packers with Brett Favre uh, came back and and won the Super Bowl. And yeah, from that moment on, I'm a diehard Packers fan. The Packers are the team team that I support. And you know, these the last two seasons were not too good for them. Although they still have the best quarterback in the league, at least in my uh, opinion. He is for sure up there, Aaron Rodgers. But having Brett Favre, uh, he was really enjoying the play. He was a fun player to watch. Really, really fun. Frustrating with all the interceptions that he threw. But you could always count on him to uh, deliver also something special. So you never knew. It was up and down. And so, yeah. It was in 2007. I went on eBay and I got this. My Brett Favre Packers jersey. I finally need, needed to get one. This is on-field product. This is a player issue jersey and uh, it's a great thing to have. I mean the material it's very similar to the uh, Panthers jersey but if you look at it this, the holes here are even better made. They are very nicely done. Uh, the material here on top is double the size because you can get the shoulder you have to have for the shoulder pads here so very very sturdy material. I love that then you have the arms uh, very tightly wrapped. This is really that you have it kind of stuck here. And to be honest, if you wear this one, there is so much space on the shoulders because of course they are the shoulder pads. Look at this, how the arms are done. I mean, you have to have to wear this with shoulder pads and then kind of the arms come down like that. Uh, of course, I don't wear shoulder pads, so it always looks a little bit weird to me, but not too bad to, to, to be honest. Then of course the printing back there, yeah, look, 
took a beating. I mean, I have this for 12 years. And again, this is one I wear a lot. I like to wear my football jerseys in summer. It's, um, all nicely stitched on. Very nice material. Uh, nameplate, really nicely done. This is the thing about American sports jerseys. They're like uh, football and uh, ice hockey that they have the nameplate. This is a really great uh, feel feature. So, so, so basically, you, the idea was that you have the plate, you stitch on name there, and then you put it on the, on the back, which makes it even nicer. This is also much better material than the Panthers jersey. Really, really sturdy. Um, yes, also, this print, I mean, you see, it took a little bit of a beating, but it's still, I've washed this a lot, and this is still, this is just printed on. Uh, the Reebok logo, though, is stitched on. Yeah. So yeah, really, really great jersey, I have to say. Uh, absolutely love to wear this one. Um, I like sturdy stuff, <laughs> and this is about as durable. Yes, they have to, they have to sustain a lot of hits. Here, if here the uh, player tags or the number fifty is is kind of their uh, sizing. Uh, I think that was an, a large, but you know. Thanks to the shawl, shoulder pads, you, you can even go with a small size. But this actually fits me quite well, and I absolutely love it. So those are my three. And I love the classic Packers look, this color. I just wonder why don't they sell, uh, I don't need football pants, but why don't they sell shorts that have a yellow with these stripes like the Packers have? I would have gotten those immediately. So those are my three NFL jerseys, but Funnily enough, the NFL is probably the one where I have the most non-gear, uh, non-jersey uh, stuff, and I want to show you that as well because um, there are only two teams. Those are the two teams that I support most, and yeah, I would like to get a white Packers jersey and a more probably a white uh, Panthers jersey as well. But there are other teams that I like, and of those I have also stuff. Let's get to it. Staying with the Packers, first of all. Uh, I got this on a sale on the NFL web, web website. This is a polo shirt. The white one was only double XL. I gave it straight to, 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 to my brother. So I have the green one. Uh, this is my, if I want to be a little bit more business casual or whatever, I still show off my jerseys. Uh, I like this look a lot. I would like to have some other teams in that style as well. I think this was the 2005 season or 2006. One of those two. I want to say 2006 season. Uh, really great looking stuff and you have of course the Green Pepeca logo. Then let me see, 2000, no this is 2005, the 2006 uh, will come later. Oh, let's go with the Packers again. This I think is a 2006, I have a hoodie from the Packers. Uh, white saying Packers on front. Of course it is mostly green and then you have the hoodie if you have it on Yes, the Packers logo. The weird thing is this stuff on the back. But yeah, I love to wear this one. It's actually quite athletic. I mean, this is... Uh, it wears similar to a jersey, although it's a pullover. And what I love about it is, of course, it has the pockets here. I use those quite some. And now I have two more pullovers. Yeah, I have pullovers. I was living in South Carolina and North Carolina where it's warm, but I got pullovers. Uh, the first one, this was on a big trip in 2005, I bought this at the airport in Denver, Denver Broncos pullover, uh, I only got it in double, in nine XL, but it wears more like a double XL, uh, really love this one, uh, the Broncos, yes, second Super Bowl I watched the Broncos beat the, beat the Packers, but I, yes, I was bitter about it. But knowing John Elway and so on finally won it and then they went on to win it another time So, you know, I still have some sympathy for the Broncos and Denver is a nice town So really love this one. I actually have a t-shirt of the Broncos. Just let me get that one Right here, I bought this one at Mile High Stadium Really nice one. So yeah, but probably my favorite pullover I got in Seattle of the Seahawks. Um, this was back in the day. I think this was actually for the Super Bowl season. I was before that season. We were in Seattle on the same trip where we stopped at the airport in Denver. I got this wonderful hoodie. 
uh, with the Seahawks logo. This was when the Seahawks still had the gray, but yeah, the hoodie in white. I really love the sleeves, how they're done. It says Seattle Seahawks on there. Um, really great. Uh, they changed their color scheme a little bit to uh, a bright, uh, you know, not such a grayish blue, steely uh, blue, but really um, more of a royal blue and a little bit more emphasis on green. I actually like those jerseys overall. Uh, I didn't like the jerseys back then. The away jersey looked similar to this pullover, but um, I think the jerseys now look nice too. So uh, Seattle is also a team that I generally do like. I like the Broncos. Uh, I think those would be the teams that I really enjoy. I had a Jackson will yeah, uh, the Bengals and the Giants and the Eagles. If I think about it, yeah, even the Saints. I do not like the Cowboys. I do not like the Patriots. Um, I have kind of this weird hate-love relationship with the Steelers because I like the Penguins and I think the Steelers, I don't mind too much, but uh, Roethlisberger ticked tick, tick, tick me off and they ticked me also off. I have a, had a few friends that are so Steelers-centric, they wouldn't say anything else and because of them they kind of ruined a little bit the Steelers for me. But yeah, I love football. American football is one of the, the really great sports. Soccer is an easy sport uh, to watch and you can appreciate. There's a certain poetry about um, soccer, it's more fluid. But what gets me with American football every time is the tactical aspect of that game. If you spend the amount of, if you spend the time to really watch a game, there is so much going on. It's unbelievable. And for that, I love it. Yes, it is brutal. It's absolutely brutal. I mean, I don't mind that either, to be honest, but I think it's a great sport. Uh, not ranking it as high as soccer, but between hockey and American football, it's pretty much a tie for me. Well, so this was the second excursion in my non-soccer part of the collection. There are two more parts. I'm not going to say them now because I'm going to wait for two big events to show you those. Uh, one will be in summer and the other one will be come fall. But I'm going to keep you on the edge for that one. Let me know if you have any NFL jersey. I'm actually at the moment looking at an Eli Manning Giants away jersey uh, for 10 bucks and the only reason why I not have got them because it's the away jersey which is white with the red number and the Giants are blue and I find the away uh, jersey a little bit odd but that's the one they want to Super Bowls in so I think I might get that one still but yeah uh, let me know what you thought about all these jerseys uh, what the any that I should add to my collection or oh, you, what you have in your collection do you have any uh, football gear give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these and I will talk to you soon bye hey there I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too also please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel all things my soccer universe and with that i want to wish you a wonderful day